Man, oh man, I have never in my life been as excited as I am now becoming the skeleton. Which, by the way, I chose because they have no fear of death and they don't overeat. <laughs> Little Vegas -y. I've been around the block a few times, but I'm far from dead. Throughout my life, so many doors have opened for me. And my key to success is always say yes. Just like a skeleton, I've always provided support. But I'm tired of playing second fiddle. Second fiddle like in a sitcom, like a Jason Alexander. So tonight's gonna be a wild and crazy party. Wild and crazy party, oh, I know who this is. Because I finally get that spotlight all to myself, I'm gonna knock him dead. Party on, dudes. Wild and crazy. Steve Martin thing or like a Martin Short thing. Oh but my God. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. Love you. I'm Hello, getting Clark. Vegas vibes, maybe Broadway. Whatever you are, you're yeah. a seasoned performer. You obviously yeah. have comedy chops, yeah. and you have the audience eating out of your yeah. skeleton hands. Yeah, easily the funniest performance of the evening. I mean, yeah. I just could not stop laughing. Yes. It's so good. There's this old school vibe, and it, to cool. me, it seems like someone who I'm influenced by. Comedically. I get comedian, definitely. Comedian. Yeah, comedian. comedian, yeah. When he first walked out, it's it was really kind of like a, a drunk Ken Jong at a <laughs> wedding. It was. You know? It was. How dare you? A lot of this going How on. How dare you? A lot of that. All right, are you guys picking up any clues? He played second fiddle, so we have to remember that. He was yeah. always this, like the second lead. He was never the lead. You know, it could be like a John Cryer. Yeah. He played second fiddle. Yeah. He can sing, he's funny. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. There's also, a, he has a Nathan Lane vibe to me based on the Broadway I'm getting out of him. But I don't think but Nathan I, Lane really digs the Sugar Hill Gang as much. He, was, he was second Lane banana. Sing and the bang, but, bang. Like but the, the voice of the bang, bang. Yeah. To me, it's a comedian who's performed on Broadway. Well, there's Dana Carvey, you know. But, but, Carvey. But, but Dana, Dana Carvey's Dana elite. To, and he's not known to be second fiddle. Oh, no, he was to Mike Myers. Mike Myers, it could be Carvey. Carvey's, could be Carvey's. He did say party on. He party did say on, party on, party yeah. On. I just, and Carvey I is short too, much like Nick Cannon who is 4'5". <laughs> so. You know what, it's question time. All right. I got it for you. What makes you shake your bones as the skeleton? You know, I, I have no booty to shake. Oh man, I know who that is, that I know. So That's all I can do is shake, 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 shake. Shake your bones! <laughs> I freaking uh, love skeletons! I'm sorry that I asked that question. Did that help at all? It helped yeah. Ken. He thinks he knows. Yeah, I love Who you, Dad. It? It's my father. I love you. <laughs> I'll see you tonight for dinner. Love you. 
No, I, I know who it is. It's Martin Short. It's definitely Martin Short to me. Why? Why do you say because that? Because he has his cadence, and I've studied Martin Short ever since I was a kid. He's one of my favorite comedians of all time. He's a huge influence on Denise. me. He can sing. He can dance. He's a Broadway legend, and everything about Martin Short, wow. I idolize. You're Martin Short. I know it. Wow. In my, in my, I'm going I know with it Jen. in my bones. He knows it in his bones. I know bones. my bones. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the skeleton. A panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the skeleton mask. Who do you think it is? Cause mama, I'm sure hard to handle now yes around. It's the battle. That's hard. It's hot That's here. Hard. What happened? Oh my gosh, skeletons totally throwing me off. I know. That was a real battle. I had to separate them. Nick, it's so hard. They were both so awesome. But A, and you were on it vocally. Thank you. But skeleton, you brought it just now. And skeleton is something so wacky and wild and unconventional about him. I'm completely thrown because I was all full on Ken Jong on this one with right. his conviction with Martin Short. However, he's got a lot of soul yeah, there's some in his voice. Yeah, there's some gruff and, and a lot some of soul grit in that too. Yeah. In there as well. By the way, I got a bone to pick with him. Oh, oh! The egg. It's a good choice because you're getting beaten. Ah! Oh! That's good. Smack talking on the SmackDown. It's the breakfast of champions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on, an awesome answer. All right, now it's up to you guys up there, gang. It is time to vote for your favorite. Who impressed you the most? The winner will move on and keep their mask on. The other will be unmasked and sit home at the end of the night. So hard. Oh. So hard. Oil. And the winner is... Oh, no! Skeleton! Oh, oh my God! God! Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, Great sportsmanship. Skeleton, you are staying in this competition. Now head on backstage. Good job, Scott.